He, yeah. he loves it. I mean, you, I mean, you respect that. Yeah, I respect it a lot. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, we all call David on, you know, he's, he's, he's the bulldog. You know? Is that the nickname? Yeah, bulldog? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's uh, <laughs> the pit. He, he's, well, all right, bulldog or pit bull. Okay. I think he would probably prefer the pit bull. Right. Um, but, I mean, he, it's, if you look at him, that's, that's exactly what he's built. Like, he's just stocky, fast, uh, aggressive. Vicious on the field, um, and he, he loves the contact and he, he lives for it. And you so. guys kind of feed off that, so you encourage that with yeah. him. Oh yeah, right. I mean, I mean, whenever do you, do you have a hit that you remember uh, one from him, or he took someone out. I think the biggest, I think the biggest game I saw was uh, the Indiana game. Okay. I mean, I mean, some of those runs he was breaking. I mean, we'd be sitting there, our guy'd be blocked, and we'd, we'd see him so down the field breaking four or five, six tackles, and it's like Jesus, it's like. He wants it, and so I mean, that, that makes us some worse want it even, even more, you know. So, Kyle, I know this is probably a question you've answered multiple times the last couple of weeks. Um, how do you guys kind of just get motivated for this game, especially with uh, you know the touch of the playoff? Uh, I think I think it's just you know it's it's a it's a huge game. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, we're playing in the Orange Bowl, uh, the Capital One Orange Bowl is a huge game, and and we're playing a really good opponent uh, in, in Florida State, one that's going to cause. Um, some havoc, and you know, I think we match up really well personal wise. Um, so I can speak for everyone when I just say we're really excited to get out there and see what they got. You know, you know, playing play a team from, from the ACC is going to be. Uh, we haven't played one all all, the, all year from from the ACC, so it'll be a good test for us. Is there a chance that you guys want to you know, prove yourselves and prove to you know nationally that you know you guys? Should have been in, in the discussion, or uh, you know, one of the top teams in the country. I think we, I, you know, I think we've already we've already proved ourselves, and you know, I can't speak for the committee or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I don't even know who the heck is in the committee. Um, <laughs> but yeah, exactly. That's the thing. That's part of the problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we've definitely we've we've earned our respect. Uh, we've earned our right to be here. And uh, we've earned our right to show you know the nation once again um, all the hard work we put in and our, the results are going to speak for themselves. This is a bit of an offbeat question, but yep. um, you get the bowl gifts every year. This is yep. your fifth year doing that. What yes. have the bowl gifts been like this year? Uh, really nice, really nice. Uh, you know, usually they, you, we get them from like like the point system. Mm -hmm. um, so. We've gotten a couple couple gift suites so far, so you know I've got myself a nice watch, nice Michael Kors watch so far. Mm -hmm. uh, got myself some Beats, a TV, a yep. TV, yeah, and a nice little TV. So little it's TV been good. Or a big I think it was like a 32 inch or something. Okay. It was like five points. I can't remember. How does um, the point system work? Can you explain that? Explain basically, you get like for every suite, you get eight points, and so like there'll be like gifts are worth like two points, four points, six points. The eight points. There's, there'll be like six things that are like eight point ones. There's like, there's like the big ones, like the fifty inch TVs and the uh, recliners and that kind of stuff. How do they get those back? Do they deliver them? They, yeah, they mail them. They mail them. Yeah. I mean, last last year, and I, I know for the recliners, um, they sent like some big semi truck and they just like dropped them all off one day and they're like, here's your chairs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Come on. Look, looking back at, at the season, I mean, there were there were a lot of you know emotional ups and downs. Was it was this the most emotional season for you? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough question. I think this year definitely. You know, last year was was the start of it. You know, of us getting back to where we really wanted to be. But this year we definitely had some emotional moments, uh, especially going into Iowa. You know, um, being nine and zero and losing that first game. That was that was kind of a shock for all of us, I think. And that took about twenty four hours, forty eight hours to get over that. You know. Um, <laughs> Obviously came back and you know won our last game. You know the seniors for at Indi at home against Indiana, um, and that was really emotional. I mean, we definitely cried some tears that day before and after the game. Um, you know, we slide in the snow and everything. It was kind of like just like playing in the backyard. You know, so that was really it was just a feeling I don't ever want to forget. You know, and then obviously losing to Ohio State that was uh, not in the plan. So. Yeah, you, you could say it was an emotional one. Um, the most, I don't know, but it was definitely, it was definitely up there. How much different are you guys as an offense when Wilton is healthy and throwing well downfield? Yeah. Um, I don't know if really our offense changes that much, but you know, I think just having his presence in there, uh, especially after what he's done this year, you know, it makes us just feel a lot more confident in our ability as an offense to get the job done. You know. I mean, he's, he's showed time and time again that he's the guy for the job and that he um, has proved himself over and over again. Um, and he's a damn good player. And, I mean, we'd, we'd love to have him in there. 
Do guys look at him differently now, having gone through this season, than maybe in early August? Um, not really. I mean, I, st I still view Wilton as like um, I call him the Pelican. I mean, because when, when he first when he first came in, he was like he was like a tall, lanky, stork and stork looking guy. So I still view him as that. But I mean, he's, he's he, both, both. The, the, pe the Pelican for like the long beak, and then the stork for like the long body and everything. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 funny, you know, uh, everyone. Everyone who's, who's not on the team, you know, portrays these guys as like these stars and everything. But it's like, I mean, I, I have so many stories about all these guys that you guys would just never know. And so it's we don't really view them like that. So this is the time to tell us. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if you want me to tell you some of those stories. Ruin <laughs> um, our image. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's 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 the image. It's the image. Um, but yeah. So personally, you know, it hasn't changed our our view of him that much. But as a player, definitely. As a player, definitely.